what's up y'all welcome back to tina bopper all the way live and yes this is a tina bopper and true crime so we talking about true crime today this is a true crime video so if you into true crime like your gra and you want to be involved in all the live videos when we go live and we talk about the true crime and all the things that's happening and the updates of the case then first of all you want to follow me here okay go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the red button it's free it's free okay go ahead and hit the red button and yeah and the links to all my other social medias if you want to follow me there i'll link down below so we're gonna get into today's video y'all which is a dang on doozy okay so so this case begins monday july 24th 2022 just recently last week Monday morning which is when this case began a woman driving down the street sees a 12 year old girl walk and she stops to see if she needs help to give her a ride and of course the young girl needs help and she needs a ride and she needs to call 911 because she has been kidnapped by 37 year old Jose Paulino Pascal Reyes. The kidnapped victim is a 12 year old girl. She haven't, no one knows her name. Okay. She doesn't have a name as of yet. Probably during this entire, if we do updates on this crime, then you know that there won't be, her name will not be released because she's 12 years old and she's a minor. So this did happen in Alabama. If y'all don't know, I'm in Alabama. Like it's like, I am not one of those people who feel like this wouldn't happen in my town i'm not one of those people i do know that crime can happen anywhere next door up the street in california in new york anywhere crime can happen and the most gruesome of crimes because you don't know a person until you know a person and that's just that on that the first sign for me is that nobody reported her missing so i am gonna have a personal opinion in this video but usually i say my personal opinions for the lives when we talking and then i give my opinion on something but when it's a pre-recorded true crime then you need to know i'm just giving you the information all the details without any interruptions and then you also can look up and see what the person looked like where she was found and all of those things and by the person i mean the criminal sometimes we will have photos of the victims when they is of age and we are they give us that type of information in the news but as of now we don't have anything from the from the victims but we do have the photo of him and here is his crazy ass right here okay and like i said he is 37 year old jose pascal reyes he moved into his trailer in february say february march april may june july he's been there for five months so nobody really knows him he haven't been a uh, you know in time uh, nobody knows him so he's not known in the area like i said he just moved into this trailer where the bodies were found in february monday morning she was found walking down a rural road this also happened in east alabama she was found walking down county road 30 and a woman stopped and to give her a ride to see if she need help because she's a 12 year old little girl why is she walking at 8 30 in the morning and where is she going so it gave warning signs for this woman who sees something you do something and that's what i live by i know some people live by the mind your own business rule or something like that i mind my own business when it comes to people personal business like personal business but like abuse criminal behavior and all i'm not a person that turns a blind eye to it especially when it's harmful to others like if somebody doing something is not hurt nobody that's one thing one picks her up and they call the police and they get help so the suspect trailer wasn't far from where they found the little girl so where the little girl was picked up walking on county road 30 the trailer wasn't far 
the deputies or the sheriff did not say this bit of information i'm saying this the little girl had to show them what trailer or where she was being held captive because how else would they know just you know she's 12 like i'm sure she couldn't be like you turn left turn right and then it's you know the third trailer on the left hand side because she was held captive in this trailer and she was tied up to a bed tied up okay so she was literally kidnapped and held captive 12 years old by this grown 37 year old man the little girl was drugged with alcohol to keep her immobilized so that she would not want to get free and i'm guessing for whatever was being done to her the alcohol he's drugging her with alcohol she's 12 years old her body probably to take alcohol i'm an adult my body can't take alcohol like that so imagine a 12 year old yo this brave 12 year old the sheriff here called her a hero because that's what she is she chewed herself free out of her restraints so literally chewed herself like can you imagine that sounds like something i've saw like she chewed herself free she has braces on her teeth so that was a warning sign for me at first it was like this 12 year old hasn't been reported missing but then she has braces so it's like okay well she wasn't a 12 year old that has a parent that wasn't caring for her because she has braces so that means someone that care for her because she has braces on her teeth so to me that was like okay so why wasn't she reported missing I'll get to that. The sheriff says that the first contact that they had with this 12 year old was when she was, when she called 911 from the pedestrian picking her up on the side of the road. That was the first they've heard of this 12 year old, which means nobody reported her missing or none of that. Or as a runaway, she hasn't been reported. Like I said, that happened Monday morning, about 8.30 in the morning, where the little girl was rescued. And Monday evening, they did the, with the help of the FBI, the other counties in the police department, they did arrest 37 year old Jose. He was at work. You done killed two people. I ain't got to that yet. And kidnapped a 12 year old girl. And you took your ass to work. Sir. 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 Oh you, you thought you was going to get away away with it. Because you're not. Cause you didn't. Cause you're dumb. He was arrested Monday night in Auburn, Alabama at work. Auburn, Alabama is not far. So even though it seemed like it's a different city, she was found in Tallapoosa County, Alabama. And he was arrested in Auburn, Alabama, which isn't far from Tallapoosa. So I'm guessing that's where he worked He in construction. And he was arrested. Okay. He was arrested. Now here is his criminal charges okay he have three counts of capital murder mm -hmm. you heard that correct three there was two bodies in the house when the girl the 12 year old girl like i can't believe she did this at 12 the one the 12 year old girl lead the investigators to the trailer there was two decomposing bodies in the trailer an adult female and a child boy a boy child now here's where is my personal opinion that i'm giving in this video it is that is her mother okay that is her mother gotta be you see what i'm saying like it gotta be because why wasn't she reported missing because this sap sucker done killed her mama okay that's why he done killed her mama and her little brother like so he have three counts of capital murder of an adult female and a child um the child was a boy i'm guessing from information that was told in the court documents one count of capital murder during the during a kidnapping a capital murder of a child under 14 and capital murder for two or more people in one act 
So that's why he have three counts of capital murder. He also have a first degree kidnapping, which is the 12 year old victim. The capital murder charges are for the mother and the son. And like I said, I'm saying the mother, the mother and the son. And then the little girl is the kidnapping charge. And he also have two counts of corpse abuse, which is corpse abuse is leaving the bodies there to decompose. He is sick, okay? He is sick. This is, I want y'all to know, like, there are sick human beings on this earth, okay? Majority of them are men. But this is what happens. And here is the details that has emerged since the news, since the sheriff has come out. This man smothered his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, Sandra Van Kez Seha. Okay, smothered her, killed her, okay, and also killed her son with his bare hands. Her juvenile son with his bare hands, like, girl. He tried to hide the evidence by cutting up the bodies into small pieces. He killed his girlfriend and her child has her other child, the girl, the 12 year old, t tied to a bed being drugged with alcohol. And he is cutting up the bodies of his girlfriend and her juvenile child to get away with murder. Meanwhile, her daughter is tied to a bed and he's at work. His bond was denied yesterday as it should be denied for the rest of the days of his life, okay? Sometimes, I don't even know why we be having trials. Sometimes, I don't even know why, girl, but I guess that's like justice or something like, girl. So, I just cannot believe this. Like, I cannot believe that this happened to a 12-year-old girl and he did this to her mom and her brother, like, he legitly killed everybody and cut their bodies up. Like, what the? F Gra! 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 Y'all, that's all the information that I have right now on this case. But like I said, I will keep y'all updated and I will keep updated on the case. And we will go live and talk about this case. i post a community tab and let y'all know when we'll go live. And we talk about the case and all the things that we have learned so far. And what y'all think about this case. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all, I cannot believe this. Like, this is crazy, girl. It's, it don't be worth it, okay? It don't be worth it. So, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video so that I know that y'all watched it. And then we can move along to the live and talk about all the things. I want to thank my most supportive unicorn, Rhonda, for sending me this story. And it's just like, oh, my God. Girl. So, yes, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a safe and happy life. Bye, y'all.